Hey everybody, I just want, wanted to do a quick little video about our Algebra EOC resources. So I'm just going to use my Algebra course. It looks the same for our, my Accelerated as well. But on the front page, right here in the middle of the front page is where you can access the EOC review resources. Um, this is the ones that are digital that I've created as well as the paper copies. So just real quick, at the top is just the midterm practice, but these ones that say EOC practice one, two, three, etc. These are derivative practices. And then if you scroll down, I have these Delta maths. I think that they are not linked. So let's not use the Delta math at this point. Um, and then under where it says paper packet resources, this is the packet the students received a week or so ago. And it's one big packet, but it's broken down into each topic and then the answer key as you can see is below here. I do have a class set of answer keys in the room since we do not have our Chromebooks anymore so students can use the packet in the room to check their work. But the other thing and the main thing I wanted to share is the state of Georgia practice platform. So I've encouraged the students before we take our EOC on Monday, April the 29th to use the state of Georgia practices. This top link is simply the questions that's been placed in a PowerPoint. Those same questions and the preferred practice area is this link right here. So these are some items that the state of Georgia has released of our new math standards. This is also the platform the students will use. So I suggest let's use in this one. Since this is an end of course, the students will click on this top left box. And then there's a few options. You can take the practice test here. However, I have encouraged the students to click on the study guide. And then of course, click on the algebra for our algebra practice. Now, the reason I encourage the study guide is because it's the questions, just like on the practice test, but with the study guide, it's going to give the students the answer on the following page, along with a little bit of an explanation. So these are just all the tools um, that this platform offers. So here's like the first question all over here on the right. And then on this left side, it just gives us the standard and some key terms. So the students will click on the answer they believe it is. And then once they turn the page, the answer is given along with a little bit of a rationale. So again, I believe the study guide, the online study guide um, is more helpful um, if they want to do both. Of course, that is fantastic. But again, I'll just go right back on our home page. We have the questions and platform for the Georgia the Georgia sample questions and platform. Again, clicking here. The top line is the top line are the questions that have been put on the plat on a PowerPoint. But this link here takes us to the Georgia milestone platform. And then again, we're doing an e end of course test. So clicking here, and then either the test itself or the study guide. Again, the study guide one gives them the question and then also the answer and the rationale on the following page. So that is what students can do when they are at home to practice. Thanks and I hope this helps.